Happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for being here. I wanted to have some fun today, so I hope you're ready to have some fun. The other day, my daughter and I were in the car together and out of nowhere, she was like, mom, I have a riddle for you. And she said, if you have six eggs, you crack two, you fry two, and you eat two, how many do you have left? And really, it didn't take me more than a second and a half to say, well, you have four left because you cracked two, you fried two, and you ate two. They're all the same two. So naturally, you have four left. She's like, how did you get that? And it was because I paid attention to the specific words that she was saying. And that really got me thinking about how people can work on their active listening skills if they just listen to the words that their customers are saying. And so today I have some riddles for you. I'm gonna read them out loud. I want you to test your active listening skills and we will see how good you are. If you are just now finding this channel, again, my name is Dana Neeson. I run a telesales team for Tailored Legacy. We sell final expense insurance over the phone with just one carrier. My job is to help you have stronger, more sophisticated sales conversations. Active listening is certainly a huge part. You can't have great conversations unless you're listening and paying attention to the words that your customers are saying. Quick reminder though, if you haven't already, there are still uh, five days left, five or six days left in the month to uh, watch the video to test your sales knowledge. There are 11 questions I think on there and the ones that answer them the best will get a 30 minute coaching call with me. So you have, if you haven't done it yet, go back to that video, answer the questions. All the questions are also listed in the comments below and I will choose a winner uh, for a 30 minute co coaching call with me here at the end of July. All right, so I, I search the internet, I was like, I wonder if this is a thing. I wonder if people are coaching their agents or staff on riddles to promote active listening. And it turns out it actually is a thing. So I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't the first one that thought of it, but here we go. I have some riddles for you. And I want you to think about it and I want you to listen to the specific words that I'm saying and be honest. Did you get all of them? Did you get one of them? How many did you get? Put it in the comments with how many answers to the riddles you got and pay attention to the words that I'm about to say to help you answer the riddle. Okay, so question number one. Is there a federal law against a man's marrying his widow's sister? Is it a federal law against a man's marrying his widow's sister? Think about it. Think about the words that we're saying. I know it's getting you a little tongue twisted and your brain's probably going in a million miles an hour. Here is the answer. No need for a law against a man marrying his widow's sister if he has a widow if he has a widow that means he's dead question number two i've actually heard this one before uh growing up in elementary school so this isn't an old one so um if you get any of them i hope you get this one how many animals of species did Moses bring aboard the ark with him during the great flood? How many animals of species, and the way this is worded is really weird. How many species of animals, I would probably say, did Moses bring aboard the ark? Okay. Think about the words. What did I just say? The answer is Moses brought no animals aboard the ark. Noah, however, <laughs> brought two of each species. Riddle number three, according to international law, if an airplane crashed on the exact border between two countries, would the unidentified survivors be buried in the country they were traveling to or the country they were traveling from? Listen to this again. According to international law, if an airplane crashed on the exact border between two countries, would the unidentified survivors be buried in the country they were traveling to or the country they were traveling from? What's the answer? The answer is there would be no burial because they were unidentified survivors. You don't bury survivors, you bury the dead. All right, question number four. 
A man builds an ordinary house with four sides, except each side has a southern exposure. That one's kind of interesting. A bear comes to the door and rings the doorbell. What color is the bear? <laughs> Let me read this again. A man builds an ordinary house with four sides, except each side has a southern exposure. A bear comes to the door and rings the doorbell. What color is the bear? The answer is the bear is white. A house with four southern exposures, oh, would be at the North Pole, so he must be a polar bear. That was a hard one. I didn't get that one, but I don't think I understood what the question was asking. So if you got that one, that's good. That's really good. All right, number five. This is also another one that I remember hearing as a kid. So I have high expectations that everybody will get this one. You better get this one. Okay, you're the bus driver. You drive three blocks to pick up two people. You drive three more blocks, one person gets off. You drive around the corner and pick up five more people. How old is the bus driver? You need me to hear it again? You're the bus driver. You drive three blocks and pick up two people. You drive three more blocks and one person gets off. You drive around the corner and pick up five people. How old is the bus driver? However old you are, because you are the bus driver. That was an easy one. At least I hope it was an easy one. So here's what I wanna request from you. What are some good riddles that we can use for active listening exercises that other people can respond to in the comment section below? Do you have really good riddles? Please post them in there. Let me know what your favorite ones are. And as a reminder, go back to the YouTube video to take that quiz so that I can offer a 30 minute coaching call to you. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you with a training call tomorrow.